Let's get it started now with the Trader Rundown. Joining us for that is Michelle Schneider. She's the Director of Trading at the Market Gauge Group. Good to see you there, Michelle. And the stock market has been taking some hits lately. Tell us what you think. My hope is that it'll just be something we have to get used to. This will be just the first, I think, of several more mutations along the way. Uh, and as long as people are getting as vaccinated as they can and science is continuing to look at other vaccines, et cetera, et cetera, I, I do feel optimistic <clears throat> that this will not be a repeat of 2020. But the market is not necessarily convinced of that yet. So that's 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 what I'm looking at. And the small caps are still much weaker than the Nasdaq and the SPY. So we need to that hold up because that's going to obviously represent future economy and then the transportation. That is doing a little bit better than the small caps, still above the 50-day moving average. To me, that's key because Black Friday is definitely was a problem in terms of how much retail was out there. Cyber Monday, those mon numbers will come in. Transportation can hold up then perhaps, perhaps the worst of Friday was overextended. What's your trade of the day, Michelle? Well, we're actually looking at BITO, which is the ETF for Bitcoin, uh, B-I-T-O. It actually looks like, and it has to confirm, a potential island bottom. And Bitcoin itself has coming back over the 50-day moving average. So if that holds, that would be where we were looking more than equities at this point. Thank you, as always. Thank you, Danji. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.